Hey, it's nice to have you back here in my new video. This is episode one of our in-depth review on this camera. I mean, for most of you guys, you have been wondering how good it is about this LED panel, pilot panel. So in this series of videos, we're gonna dive very deep into this camera. And on the first episode, we're gonna cover some basic introduction, some background information, and I'm gonna give you my first impression. Should you get a lab panel, pilot panel? You will find the answer at the end of the video. My name is Yixin Guo. My YouTube channel is a dedicated 360 photography, video, accessories, and some cutting technology. First, let's start with some background information on this lab panel, pilot panel. For those of you who have been long been subscribed to my YouTube channel, you should be familiar with my in-depth review on this LED panel Pilot 1 and the Pilot 1 Enhanced Edition, and including the Pilot Era, uh, which is a groundbreaking 4 fisheye lenses structure, 360 camera that empowers with the GPS and even the cellular network. The company LED panel also has some proprietary technology that empowers the help users to deliver valuable service and content to their professional customers. For example, the Pilot Tour, which I also have covered in depth review about this feature, that utilize the 360 panorama, the GPS information, the IMU sensor inside the camera, and the visual slam, short for the visual simultaneously localization and mapping to deliver the hotspot, seamless transition, and 3D reconstruction for your environment. And needless to say, they also have a very powerful GPS information receiver built right inside this camera. So this camera is an ideal choice for the Google Street View service. The LED panel of the camera is still one of the best candidates for the Google Street View Pro service to deliver high quality blue line the job with a standalone solution inside the camera. The LED panel of constant provides a reliable high performance 360 live stream for the customers. Among all the other 360 cameras designed for the pro level users, the LED panel is the only company that delivers in-camera stitch, real-time stitch and stabilization for the first time and keep empowered the feature that to finalize to make it better and better that build everything inside the Pilot OS. At the end of the year in 2022, they have immigrated all these features inside the Pilot panel. It is very capable in the Visual Slam, the Pilot Tour, uh, in the 360 Live, and also in the Google Street View use cases. So this, from every perspective, this one is an amazing 360 camera in some specific use cases, and it also designed with the consumer levels request within that delivers a single lens, 360 lens, 5.7K in-camera stabilization and stitching. But LED panel want to catch, want to reach more users in the consumer level market. So by designing a camera like this, it's a very simple and elegant two fisheye lens structure that has a 5.7K in-camera stitch and real-time stabilization. So this is an all-in-one solution. It works exactly like the C10 X, but delivers a better experience on the basis of Pilot OS. And needless to say, you also have a complete solution from start to finish on the virtual tour, 360 Live, uh, on the video creation, and also built with a single lens shooting mode, which is called the plan video, 360 video, HDR shooting, blah, blah, blah. They also, this is a feature packed 360 camera and also designed with the premium industrial design support the in replaceable battery, micro SD card, internal memory, fast charging, and again, a complete live solution for some specific use cases. Constant live in 4K without overheat. So these are some of the key high edit features for LED panel, pilot panel. But I really want to show you every little detail that I have learned and understand 
about this camera from the package to the industry design, user interface, and some workflows. So coming next, we're going to go to the unboxing section to show you every tiny little detail in the package. They also deliver some really interesting accessories that come in the package. And they also have a complete protection solution for the giant lenses and the giant touchscreen. Right now, what you are watching at this moment is a complete package of this left panel, pilot panel 360 camera, including the camera itself and all of the available accessory at this moment. So coming next in this unboxing section, we're going to divide it into two parts. Number one, I'm going to sh share with you this basic design, the package, balance 360 camera pilot panel. And coming next, just want to show you some beautiful design accessories, including the lens cap, the lens protector, invisible selfie stick, and this life suit. Let's start with pilot panel package, the versatile 360 AI camera designed by Lab Panel. This is the first dual fisheye structure 360 camera designed by Lab Panel. Before this camera, Lab Panel always come with four fisheye design with a rectangle shape. So this is a completely new camera from inside out. It's different from any previous its predecessors of the Lab Panel company. This Lab Panel logo, the top and bottom. 360 camera, iconic design, beautifully designed. Lab Panel and its main features. Number one, it could capture 5.7K the high definition resolution 360 video where it could reframe into 1080p HD video. And it would also perform 4K high definition live stream with the live suit, which we're gonna cover later on in this video. And it also comes with 3.1 inch smart touch screen and it built in with AI auto tracking and AI editing on the app and the post process software. It has a built-in pilot steady stabilization and is able to capture in panorama and ultra wide angle switch, which is rate frame in real time and capture directly in your memory. And also built with four ambisonic sound capture. It's a four microphone array that is capable to deliver a spatial audio. And it also has a 2300 milliamp replaceable listen battery. So altogether, these features make the pilot panel quite unique from the ATO 360, the Kendall, or even Ricoh. Actually, this is a pseudo unboxing video because I have been shooting with the camera for quite a long time. The first moment you got this camera, this camera should stay inside this, this bag. The first time you ever got a new camera, you should have a plastic paper to cover the front and rear lens, and inside the package, you also get to see a beautifully written the pilot panel user guide, it's written in multiple languages. We should talk a little bit more about the specification, because on this user guide, you might notice the main spec sheet of this lab panel, pilot panel 360 camera. It has built in two 1 over 2.3 inch Sony image sensor, it also has a 210 degrees f 2.0 fisheye lenses uh, with a 3.1 multi touch screen with the 800 multiply 480 pixels. A photo capture 5.7K, video 5.7K at 30, 4K at 60, and even 2.5K at 120 FPS, which is a slow motion effect. It has a built in memory, the RAM. This DDR RAM, 4 gigabyte, and also has 32 gigabyte internal memory. It's EMMC storage. At the same time, it supports external micro SD card slot. It has a built-in 9 axis MU and has a maximum power consumption around 7 watts. It is a replaceable battery and supports 2 hours continuous shooting at 5.7 and one hour's continued live stream at 4K 30 FPS. But with the live studio bundle, you can perform 4K live for unlimited time. It also has a built-in 
a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi at the same time. It is a built-in to multiply to a MIMO antenna system, which makes this wire transfer super fast. It's a similar structure with CDX. Built-in spatial audio for microphones, for channel and PCF, PCM codec. External microphone via this 3.5 TRS socket. It also supports power delivery input at maximum 50 watts and it weighs around 295 grams. A lanyard. It's a lanyard you can mount with a lanyard. Mount the lanyard and you can put your camera on your wrist. On your wrist. Another one. A C to C cable that support power delivery charging, fast charging for this camera. This one, a quarter inch spacer. That designed to elevate the camera for a little bit to leave the room for the USB-C port and this TRS socket, the spacer. Yeah, this is, this is brilliant. And the spacer also has a LED panel logo on the surface. It's a LED panel lens cloth to help you clean the lens and clean the touch screen. So this is gonna get inside the package. Okay, just take a close look at the industrial design and features about this LED panel. It built with full metal frame all around this camera. And it's built with replaceable battery. Do you see that? This is the battery door, and this is the replaceable battery, the PIP221, the 2300 milliamp lithium battery, and the capacity. It's not a rectangle shape, it's a customized design lithium battery. On the other side, this is a power on button, and it's also the, the shutter button as well. On this micro SD card slot, I have already inserted my stand disk microSD card inside this. And this is a microSD card protection door, also designed with aluminum alloy and a microSD card on surface. The lanyard hole, according to mount thread with reinforcement, the audio input jack, the 3.5 mm TR socket, and the USB Type-C port, other side. So it has a similar structure, a similar socket with the Theta V. It also has a charging port and an audio input jack. One thing that I love about LED Panel 360 camera is it always leaves the external audio input jack natively on the camera body. And the other side, the LED panel, the soft finish, the two giant fisheye lenses with red ring to make it very really scientific, frictional a little bit, and take a close look at this. One, two, three, four. There's four microphones that composed as a MIMO array to capture spatial audio, recording four channels simultaneously. The reason why the designer has put a giant protection frame around the fisheye lens, actually the fisheye lens is very small, it's right inside this red circle, but all around the place to make overall looking the balanced, but also leave some extra space for the lens protector. You're gonna cover later on in this video. And the both side, you can fit on the lens protector left and right. The lens protector itself is waterproof and dust resistant. The lens protector is waterproof and dust resistant, which will definitely protect your dual fisheye lenses. The camera lo looks a little bit thick. The thickness is larger compared with the X3, X2, or some other 360 cameras. But overall, it delivers a better performance, a better design. This is a speaker, and also be doubled as a LED panel logo as well. Now let's input this uh, battery. And this is LED indication light, 3.1 inch multi-touch screen, which is a similar design with the LED panel pilot one. So after this unboxing section, you might be wondering what about the user interface? So what we can get from this pilot OS on the basis of Android 10, whether we can install the apps inside the camera 
without being a third-party developers. Now, long press, you can now open this camera for the first time. It has a built-in full-function Android operating system, just like the Ricoh Cita. The Ricoh Cita camera product line, the Cita V, Cita D1, and Cita X, they all have built a native this Android operating system. The lab panel also is built in an Android operating system which is customized as a pilot OS. The pilot OS is a very powerful Android operating system and support third-party developers. At the same time, it also you can install the app directly inside this, this touch screen. Looks like it's an iPhone with a 360 camera that built within the, the, the body. Lab panel pilot one comes with six different apps. The camera, the gallery, the live, settings, street view, and stitcher light. Because this is the standalone 360 camera that support in-camera stitch, a real-time stitch, and a real-time reframe. So everything could be done right inside this, this camera body. So you don't have to use a post-process workflow. You don't have to use an app. You don't even have to use the desktop workflow. Everything can be done from capture, stitching, uh, rough editing, exporting, uploading. Everything can be done right inside this camera. So this is what differentiates the pilot panel from other 360 cameras because this guy is a true standalone 360 camera. Well, let's take a look at the camera. In the camera, you can see the different the live preview has real-time stabilization. Take a look. It has a real-time stabilization. No matter how you rotate, the live preview has been stabilized. And you can see you have uh, interval photo. Let's have capture time lapse, the photo mode, the 360 video, the plan video, which is reframe in real time and slow motion video to capture a high frame rate and the time lapse view. The time lapse feature is always one of the key feature for this lab panel 360 camera. Okay, let's take a look at it one by one. For the interval photo, uh, you have a shutter button and you can set the exposure, the shutter, the exposure value, the white balance, the very intuitive right inside. And it also capture the countdown sound and interval time from 5 seconds all the way up to 20 seconds. Also get to see the settings, the JPEG, the JPEG plus DNG and the JPEG plus RAW. I just didn't quite get the idea what is the difference between the DNG and RAW. Maybe the engineer would save an unstitched file inside the internal memory. So it have three different options for the file format. Yes, this is how you can capture with the interval photo. And with the photo, it looks pretty the same, but you do have one more option, the two more options actually. The timer, the countdown timer, the HDR shooting, you can turn it on or turn it off. Three, five, seven, the bracket shooting automatically for you. This is a built-in auto explorer bracket for you guys. And for the auto explorer bracket, I have made an, my personal in-depth review on the basis of LED panel pilot one. If you want to know more about that, you can refer to my previous in-depth tutorial. And this one, you can hide the photographer. You can turn it on or turn it off. So you can have a first countdown, a second countdown. It looks just like the, the time shift, the time shift for the Ricoh Cedar. So the individually expose the fisheye lenses one by one. So you can use the time gap to jump in between different cameras and hide the photographers, which I have also covered in my in my in-depth review on the lab panel previously. You can refer to my previous video if you want to know how to hide a photographer. And as you might have noticed, the hide photographer could also be doubled as the duplicate photographers as well. And the settings, you also get to see the file format, it supports JPEG, and it supports RAW file for the first time. Yes, for the first time. For the 360 video, you do have uh, different frame rate options. The 5.7K, up to 30, the codec, the dot 264, 265, the 4K up to 60 FPS, and 2.5K at 
110 FPS at most. So this is a high frame rate. You can slow down up to uh, four times slower. This is how you're going to get. You can also set countdown and get different settings. Uh, you do have two options for the pilot steady, the fixed option or the follow camera. And you can also divide into the video file into different sections to make your long-term shooting more reliable. So you can divide into the video into 10 minutes, 30, one hour, up to, uh, yes, up to two hours. And you can also divide it on the basis of the, the file size, the one gigabyte up to 10 gigabyte. This is a really functional design and it is really innovative. This is the first time ever I have ever seen this function 18360 camera design. So far so good. Next one, let's talk about the plain video. For the plain video, it looks like a single lens shooting, but with a much better performance, so much better options to compare with X3. First, you can change the field of view, 150, 135, all the way down to 80. And you can change the frame ratio, the vertical, the horizontal or rect square, and also set the resolution up to 1080p. So everything will be captured in real time. It depends on your field of view. Once you capture in 19 degrees, the maximum resolution will be limited to 4040p. So bear in mind, a look is how it looks like. I normally shoot at the maximum field of view with a maximum resolution. Yes, and for the rest, the change is the frame rate. Maximum 1080 the maximum 60 FPS because you can use all the computational resources focus on a single lens that you can double the frame rate with the twice as fast readout speed from a single image sensor. And for this, you can use horizon stable, that horizon lock, just like a horizon lock, or you can turn it off. And you also can divide this storage, divide into the video file by on the basis of time or the file size. And you can also switch between the front and rear lens. The front lens, the front lens is this one, the rear lens is the lens on top of the touch screen just like conventional DSLR cameras. Switch between front and rear lens. Once you start recording, you just cannot, you cannot switch lens anymore. As we capture, this video has been generated in real time. Looks pretty damn awesome. And you can also change the export time. Next one, the slow motion video. The slow motion video being captured in 360, so, you get the maximum 2.5K at 110 FPS, a different codec. And the time-lapse, so you can generate the time-lapse video directly in the camera at a maximum 5.7K, 30 FPS. So it's gonna get a fixed frame rate, a fixed resolution, and a different codec. And you also get to see the, the scale rate, the 10 times faster, 20, all the way up to I mean, this is pretty insane. <laughs> you can use this panel as a surveillance camera and scale rate the, the, the giant project 10,000 times faster. This is pretty insane. I mean, it's normally used this scale rate in a giant project to capture time lapse on the basis of months or even year. Normally, you want a moving cloud the 10 times or 20 times faster is pretty good enough. And also can change, you can change the pilot steady or can divide the storage on the basis of time or file size. Pretty unique, I mean pretty unique about this camera app. This is quite brilliant, unique about this pilot panel. It makes this camera very unique and really positive in the 360 use case. In the gallery menu, you can, you can just the preview, the file size, and you're gonna see the information about this camera. And in the live, we're gonna we're gonna share with you the complete live guide with the help of the live suit. So we will not cover the live app instruction in this video. But I have to tell you that 
the light feature is one of the killer feature behind this LED panel, pilot panel. It's one of the best features the built within 360 camera so far. And in the settings, you do have different options. In the pilot ID, if you uh, sign in with pilot ID, you can enjoy the pilot tour. So what is a pilot tour? You can refer to my in-depth review on the pilot tour as well. Well, for the you can connect to Wi-Fi. Once you have connected with your Wi-Fi, this camera works just like your Android phone. And it also has a built-in GPS, which makes it the ideal camera for the Google Street View, the Blue Line project. It's definitely another camera that could get the Google Street View Pro certification. And the camera could also be doubled as a hotspot. Hotspot that you can connect your app, the pilot app, with the pilot panel. And it also support Bluetooth 5. Point, you know, 5.0. And you can also use some third-party Bluetooth remote controller to remote control your camera start or stop recording wirelessly. And you can set the bottom logo, turn it on or off, and you can also change the size. And you can also upload to customize, you can customize your Nadir logo. If you uh, can, you can use your uh, use USB-C port to transfer your, your customized Nadir logo. And uh, you can change the screen, the pilot lamp, take a photo, record, live stream, the pilot lamp. I mean the pilot lamp is this one, pilot lamp. The set to the date and time, and set the sound, the speaker, the low battery, the live shutter, the video shutter or photo shutter, you can hear the sound, a beep sound. Considering this is the Android operating system, so you can customize your keyboard, the pilot keyboard or the native keyboard. Uh, sometimes you need to type in your password to type in your, uh, you can install a Chrome browser, you can, you can surf the YouTube <laughs> with the live panel as well. For storage, it has an internal memory. The available story, storage is around 14 gigabyte. And it also use a micro SD card, uh, externally save your files, video, photos, and you can clear storage simultaneously. A very clear summary for the storage management. Or you can also save energy, auto power off 30 minutes, and you can also install more applications uh, despite its six native apps. You can install your app. Do you see that? You can use this one to wireless transfer and install on the go. You can install YouTube, even install YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want. Default browser is a, a native Android browser or the Pi browser that is customized by the pilot panel engineer. And always keep up with the latest Pilot OS operating system, which is 6.5.0 up to now. That has just added HDR capability. So always check whether you have a new update and always keep up with the former because the Pilot panel has a constant push the latest firmware to you in the Pilot OS. And I have already uh, upgraded for several times and you can all reset and see the about um, and you can see the basic settings on the basis of the android 10 the android 10 device name you can customize this and you can also use the pilot go app to scan the qr code to wireless connect with the pilot panel and the street view works pretty awesome I will also make a depth review only on the street view in, in the future video. So we will not cover this section in this video. And the stitcher light you can perform in camera stitch. If you want to capture the 5.7K and stitch directly inside the camera to generate a stitch result, then you can use the stitcher. That's a teacher. Stitcher has been an app built right inside this pilot panel. So this is a basic walkthrough about the interface. This 3.1 multi-touch screen makes, and the Pilot OS all makes the Pilot panel very unique. 
and very easy to customize and very user friendly, especially for the business guys. Okay, and the third button, long press. You can reboot or shut down. Shut down. This is the basic walkthrough about this LED panel pilot panel 360 camera. I think you have learned a lot from the unboxing about LED panel pilot panel. This is a pretty interesting camera with some very unique accessories. And next one, let's talk about some accessories. I mean, I'm gonna share with you all of the available existed accessories for you that to, to show you more about this camera and its ecosystem and workflow. Okay, now let's take a look at the current available accessory for this LED panel pilot panel 360 camera. First, this invisible selfie stick. Actually, this invisible selfie stick has been designed and engineered by Yu Lanzi. Take a look, this is how it looks like. A high quality build. Yes, and it has one, two, three, four, five, five different sections. It weighs around 18 centimeters long. A quarter inch mount on the top and a quarter inch mount thread hole on the bottom. Considering the pilot panel, it's quite thick. So overall, this selfie stick looks invisible on the bottom of this pilot panel camera. And also built with a rubberized handle, make it very soft, and also add more frictions to make it comfortable to hold in your hand. The two high quality protection glass that is waterproof, dust resistant, and you can snap this lens protector on the camera. Take a look. The snap on just looks pretty identical. Pretty identical. With, it looks just like the Inter360 Access 3 design. It's individual the sticker and the protection glass, which I would highly recommend you wear a lens protector when you shoot outside, especially when you want to shot in some actional action scenario. And this is a basic user guide for this lens glass. The two lens protector, the double-sided tape, the six, that you can multiple use this lens protector multiple times, and a triangle prying tooth to help you remove this lens protector. And that is the reason why the engineer designed a giant aluminum ring around the lens that to make it compatible with the lens protector to better protect the fisheye lenses. Next one, let's take a look at the LED panel, pilot panel lens cap designed by Smorik. This is a silicon rubber design and it designed by Smorik, but you just cannot find this lens cap on the Smorik online store. You can only get it on the LED panel online store. Take a look, it's quite simple. It is a giant silicon that can protect the front and rear fisheye lenses, that they can wear a giant hat around the front and rear lenses, just like this. It looks like it's a little bit bigger for the LED panel pilot one, but anyway, the high quality build, very well protect the dual fisheye structure, also has a LED panel logo on the top. And the next one, I highly recommend you purchase a third party bag for yourself to better place your camera inside the package. Okay, last but not least, let's take a look at the live suit, which we're gonna cover in a standalone video, but I would just want to show you a basic unboxing about this, the pilot panel, the pilot panel, two to one live suit. The live suit consists of different parts. A pseudo battery, this is a DC power system, and a USB-C dock, because this is a full function USB-C port and you can convert this Type-C port into an RJ45 Ethernet cable. Take a look. The pilot panel live suit link display. Take a look how it works. I think you might have get a basic impression about this combo set. A power adapter that support a maximum 80 watts input via this USB-C A port. And two cables one of them is a USB-A to USB-C fast charging cable. And this one, this one looks great. This is a USB-C to C extension cable. 
we can extend the USB-C port on the bottom of the LED panel to further away to your backstage. The two high quality cables. And this one is a pseudo battery. Take a look. This is a pseudo battery. Let me take out my camera. The pseudo battery works just like gorgeous. Let's take out the battery door. Take out the battery. Place this full aluminum pseudo battery with heat sink at the bottom and also a Type-C port. Place this one inside and use the cable, especially like this, to power on externally with this cable and to play this with a fast charging DC adapter. This is how you can power the LED panel with external DC power input for unlimited time, considering as a building heatsink. And yes, and I can remove a bias, bias USB-C, uh, USB-C, USB-C harp, that's USB-C input. You can convert three USB 3.0 HDMI cable and RJ45 Ethernet. So you can use Ethernet that use RTMP, RDSP protocol to push the live stream to the internet to a specific address that make the pilot panel the ideal camera for 4K long-term live stream in 360. So this is definitely the killer feature for the LED panel pilot panel. We're gonna cover in the specific in-depth review on this live feature behind the LED panel. Yes, we do have so much to share about this amazing camera. So we have to make a series of videos to show you exactly every key feature behind this camera. So the, the pilot panel looks quite ordinary on the basis of the spec, but actually it designed with some professional working situation in mind, which make this pilot panel very unique, unbeatable in some use cases we're going to cover in our series videos. This is episode one, so we're going to cover some basic spec sheet, a basic walkthrough about this camera. We're going to not dive very deep inside every individual feature. So this is some basic recap on this available accessory at this moment behind this pilot panel. To wrap up on some key highlight features behind this LED panel pilot panel, this is a really impressive 360 camera designed by LED panel and this is perhaps the first consumer level product designed by this company. 5.7K in photo and video, and it's also capable to deliver 4K live stream for unlimited time if you also purchase the live suit. And live feature is also one of the killer feature for this camera as well. And designed with a full metal body, and with a 2300 lithium battery built inside that, that is also replaceable if you are capable to constant capture the video for a long period of time and also built inside with a high performance GPS. And needless to say, this camera also designed with the professional users the, the needs within, so to speak, this camera support third party developers to customize their app on the basis of the Pilot OS and the pilot panel also built with the pilot steady technology that delivers amazing stabilization in real time inside the camera. Plan video of 360 Live, you can also enable the AI tracking in real time as well. It's another exciting new features. But at the same time, you should notice that this pilot panel equipped with dual 1 over 2.3 inch sensors that is a little bit smaller compared with some other cameras at the same period of time, but it delivers with a premium performance, better performance in the heavy duty use cases, and also delivers a very competitive price in comparable with some other 360 camera at the same price range. So should you get a LED panel pilot panel? Well, the answer is quite complicated. You can either make money with a small camera at a very reasonable cost, and you can also enjoy Capture 360 or plan video with this camera and to make your life easier. 
So for those of you guys who want to do both jobs, I mean, to, for those of you guys who want to do both for professional and consumer level at the same time, this is definitely going to be an ideal choice. And for those of you who want to enjoy the 360 camera and from the perspective of a consumer, a normal consumer, I think this is also a great choice for you cons considering about its price point and the overall more robust designs. But for those of you who want to capture 360 content in action scenarios, I do not recommend this camera because it's not designed for action camera scenarios. Even though the pilot steady technology works pretty damn awesome, but it is a little bit heavier for action camera use cases. It's not waterproof because you have a USB-C port and TR socket on the bottom, so you just cannot use this camera in some very extreme use cases. For those of you who want to deliver the entry-level professional service to customers, this LED panel, pilot panel, is also an ideal choice for you. Considering about its live feature, Google Street View feature, the pilot tour feature, HDR capture, and also it's designed with a 3.5 meter TRS audio input jack and a full function USB-C that supports a USB-C dock that to expand more socket. It's a great camera designed by the company Lab Panel to deliver the customers with value and a reasonable price. And it's also the first ever consumer level product designed by Lab Panel as well. Uh, Lab Panel definitely want to reach more users in the 360 market, and they also do not want to compromise on their professional market as well, so to speak. This is not just a 360 camera design per, per consumer, but it's a hybrid, a hybrid 360 camera with great spec and user experience. So I'm so glad to see that more and more 360 manufacturer that de delivers the consumer level 360 camera from their own perspective that definitely will make the 360 industry more and more vivid, competitive. We are going to get even more choices in this industry and we will definitely get a 360 camera that is better than ever before. So in our coming next video series, we're gonna dive even deeper on some specific function behind this camera such as the live feature, the street view features, the virtual tour features, and a lot more. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit notification bell. And stay tuned for our next review video on Pilot Panel. Talk to you soon. Bye.